up guys welcome to your 12th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to add those parameters to your function so the first thing we need to do this is of course a function so again type in the name function I'm gonna call this function add now unlike before when we just had empty parameters you put two or you can put just one variable inside the parameters so I'm just going to type in two variables. I'm going to type in A and B. And where you use these variables is in your function's statement. So type your curly braces and inside you tell the function how you want to use those variables. So I'm going to make another variable called x and I'm going to say the variable x is equal to the product of A plus b or the sum of a plus b I mean now on the next line I'm gonna tell it to return the value for x now here is what we're doing right now we have a function called add a and b and this function adds the numbers a and b and it returns the value of it as you can see right here but now you're thinking, all right, so what exactly are the numbers A and B? Well, to do that, we have to type it in in our variables later on. So I'm just going to make a simple alert box. But don't pay much attention to this. Pay more attention what I'm, what I'm typing inside it. In the alert box, we want just to spit out the function. So just type the function's name, add and inside look at these red print these red parentheses right here cuz those symbolize these right here a and b but if stad, instead of adding a and b we're going to want to give it two actual numbers so let's give it 32 and 56 so right here inside your alert box you're gonna substitute make your substitutes for whatever this is so if it's a and b give a number to fill in a which will fill it in right here and b which will fill it in right here so now javascript is going to take the sum of these two numbers right here and it's going to return it and spit it out and it's going to alert it out to us so let's save it and take a look at what it looks like as you can see the sum of this function was 88 and just like before you can use this function as many different times as you want without having to type this whole bunch of code and any time that you wanna just change your numbers or something say you wanted 35 and 76 anytime you wanna change the parameters it's that simple and you can use this multiple times I'll copy it and paste it and say you had 43 and that whatever that is you can use this function as many times as you want and all you have to do is change the values in these parameters and JavaScript will automatically substitute these and run it through your function for you so let's save this and take a look at this one more time as you see we got 111 for our first answer and 5,689 for our second one. So that's how you use the parameters in a function. And if you practice with, with this just a little bit, you'll get the hang of it very easy. And it will save you a bunch of time. So thank you for watching and please rate this video. Thanks.